my name is Nikki and I am a traveling mindset mentor giving you tips and travel tips and mindset tips to optimize your travel and optimize your life. Today, we're here in Bangkok, Thailand, exploring Wat Pho Temple. So I took a tuk-tuk here with my friend Sarah and we paid 80 baht for that tuk-tuk from the hotel is only about eight minutes. So super easy to get here to Wat Pho. And we paid 200 baht to get in for the entrance fee. And now we're exploring the beautiful grounds. This is absolutely incredible and I can't wait to take you along with me. Let's go. So the 200 baht entrance fee came with a free water, which is super necessary because it is hot here walking around. And make sure that you wear comfortable clothing, but also cover up and be modest. So I'm wearing a nice little sarong and a shirt that covers my shoulders. So if you don't have any clothes that are covering you up, they'll make you buy some clothes to wear here. So be prepared. of the day I've learned is hello is swadi and then if you're a girl you add ka so swadi ka and it's very tonal I don't even know if I'm saying that correct so let me know if I am but I keep saying swadi ka swadi ka to say hello tie of the day So today, I am not alone. I'm with my lovely friend, Sarah. Woo! She's visiting me all the way from Chicago. Well, she's visiting Thailand all the way from Chicago, and I'm also here. <laughs> but, yeah, just a bonus round. <laughs> bonus round that you get to see me. But I haven't seen anyone from Chicago for two years, so it's the first person I'm seeing from home. So it feels so good to travel together. Yay! Yay! And she's helping me video. <laughs> we need that when you're traveling alone. My Instagram boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> My travel vlogger boyfriend. Wow, this is absolutely stunning. Oh my goodness, I've never seen anything like this. Bali has lots and lots of temples. You can check out some of my videos exploring the Balinese temples, which are also beautiful. But this is so different from the Hindu Balinese temples. These are the Buddhist temples and it is absolutely incredible to see. I'm like blown away. Wow. It's so hot, but at least there's a little breeze. Good thing we got our free water on entry with us. Hold on, let me open this. <laughs> Hold on. Ooh, hydrate guys, because if you don't hydrate, I've had many a times in Asia where I've been super dehydrated, so water cheers. <laughs> Ooh, oh, good thing I'm my fan. Like Mary Poppins, like I have this huge bag filled with everything. important. I got the essentials. <laughs> so as you walk around the temple, there's actually little stands that tell you all about the temple. It's in Thai and also in English, so you get to learn so much about Wat Pho. There's also a guided tour, I believe, that was 300 baht that you can pay for in addition. But if you don't do the guided tour, also okay because there's so much information that you can learn. I learned that Wat Pho was made in the 1800s and actually it, there was a 16 year restoration of this temple. Hair's going crazy. Of this temple and the monks helped restore this temple and it was completed in 1848. So this beautiful temple, it's huge here. There's a lot to see on these grounds. It was completed in 1848 by the monks and uh, something like I've never seen before. This is something that you have to just see for yourself and your eyes. Totally worth all of the money, all of the 200 baht to come in here. Definitely make this a stop on your list for sure. What are you learning? So this guy is doing some body contortion that is sometimes confused as yoga, but it is different, do not fear. Ooh. 
Look at that vibration. Wow. So cool. Kind of addicting. <laughs> wow. Yay! <laughs> So you have to take your shoes off and put them in a bag and then when you walk in, blown away. Look at this, this is unreal. Seriously, this place just keeps blowing me away more and more and more. It doesn't even feel real, it's like a green screen. This is so beautiful, so epic, so cool to learn about the history and read all that there is to know about this place and just to be in the presence like the energy here is just i have no words i'm speechless I'm just in awe really i'm we we ain't in indonesia anymore that's for sure this is new this is great this i mean indonesia is also great but the chant for reclining buddha here we go, let's try and say it. Namo tusa pakawatu arahato suma sumputasa suma sumputasa. We love these vibes. Love the vibes. Okay, so you can put 20 baht and get a cup where you put this money into all these other baskets to get good luck, happiness, and prayers for family, good health, and for yourself. Let's do it. Okay, wow, what an experience. This is all just so beautiful. There's so much to see here, and it's just a glorious, wonderful day to spend your morning or afternoon. You're gonna sweat, that's for sure. It is quite hot. Make sure you got some water, make sure you have some breathable clothing, and just know you're gonna sweat. I brought a little fan, that's important as well. And uh, just enjoy your time here. Be mindful and enjoy. We love this. Now, Thai massage is considered a non-medicinal remedy for illness that is believed to be the obstruction of energy flow. So Thai massage is now part of Thai healthcare. We love that. Okay, so this experience has been absolutely wonderful here at Wat Pho. Give it a 10 out of 10 for sure. Definitely see this if you're in Bangkok. Sarah, what do we think? Oh my God, it's beautiful. Uh, the colors are vibrant. The gold is just excellent. We got colorful, vibrant, amazing gold. What do you yeah. rate it? One out of 10. Oh, absolutely a 10. 10s across the board. Mm -hmm. Yep, check it out. Come check it out. Okay, so we loved our experience here in Wat Pho. We're gonna grab something to eat because we are hungry. And then we're gonna take the little ferry over to Wat Arun. Super excited, stay tuned. <laughs> this is so cute. Okay, so we're at Make Me Mango for a brief little lunch. And this place is so cute. <laughs> it's adorable. We're sitting on a net. I don't know if you can tell. We're sitting on like a cute little net, hanging out. Great place to hang. And um, 
We're gonna eat some great food. I'm obsessed with mangoes, so Thailand is reigniting my mango obsession. We're gonna get a mango smoothie to cool down. And then we're gonna pop on over to Wat Arun. This spot, we didn't even look it up. We were just walking the streets and it called us in and we were like, let's go. That's my favorite way to travel. Travel tip, go with the flow. Some, plan some things, but also go with the flow. See what you can find. You might find some cute little spots that you never even imagined that you would find. We're very happy. How happy are we? Incredibly happy. <laughs> Incredibly happy. <laughs> Okay, so we found the water taxi, the water ferry. It was four baht, super, super cheap, just to go across the canal, across the water, over to Wat Arun. And Wat Arun is a beautiful temple, similar to Wat Pho that we were just at. And this one costs 100 baht to get in. So we're still sweating, but we're still exploring, and it's still beautiful. So come along for Wat Arun. So I don't know the difference between Wat Pho and Wat Arun, hopefully. I will figure that out here and I can give you all of that information because I'm actually very curious about what the difference is. Maybe there's no difference and maybe they're both just beautiful temples that we're exploring. But I'll look out for information and let you know. Wow, look at the intricate detail of this. This is beautiful. So Wat Arun is also called the Temple of the Dawn and it's one of the most published images in Bangkok and we can actually go up the stairs and check out this temple up close and personal. You can also see a huge view of this temple across the river so you'll see it from afar and now we get to see it up close and personal. Let's go take a look. There's so many Buddhas here, there's so many beautiful imagery and lots of statues to hang out with and look at. Everything is just gorgeous, like this is stunning and definitely a must-see to do in Thailand as well. You can do Wat Pho and Wat Arun together in one day. The boat ride is just like a minute, a ferry ride and it's like four bots. So it's super easy to do all in one day. We did Wat Pho, had some lunch and then went to Wat Arun and it's been an amazing, perfect Thai day. So much epic scenery, look at that. Don't the clouds just look unreal? It's crazy. Steep steps, we're coming down. So Wat Arun is really, really cool. It's beautiful that you can go up into the temple and really see all the intricate details. There's that beautiful Buddha place where you can go and pray. That was incredible to see. That was like so heartwarming. I really loved it in there. And it's cool to do the little ferry and see all of the beautiful, magnificent views here at Wat Arun and learn more about Wat Arun. Wat Pho was really cool with the reclining Buddha. So even though they're similar, there's a lot of differences. So I definitely recommend checking out both 304 baht in total for the day you can have a magnificent tourist day checking out the Buddhist temples so I highly 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 recommend it Sarah to you what do we recommended as well <laughs> highly recommended highly. which one did you like better do you have a favorite they can't be compared to one another I agree you can't it's really a very different vibe on both I really recommend both I do too you can't really compare them definitely hit up both you heard it here first, or maybe second, or however many videos you've watched on this, but you've heard it here first. <laughs> 
Thank you so much for tuning in to my Thailand adventure, Thailand temple adventure here at Wat Pho and Wat Arun. <laughs> Sarah's just trekking in the background. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. Definitely comment below if you've been here or want to be here or if you have any other Thailand trips or recommendations or if you want to see more, tell me where to go. I will go for you. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more travel tips and mindset tips as well. Much, 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 much love to you. And I'll see you again on my channel soon. Bye.